Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarai. If you're new to my channel, um, my name is Sarai. Hi. 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 So I love to create videos pretty much of makeup looks. I am not an expert. I'm not a makeup artist. So it's just me pretty much having fun and giving you guys my two cents and all the products that I use in my channel. So today, today, we will be testing out in reviewing and giving you guys my first impressions on the new Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell collection. If you are a big fan of Saved by the Bell, please stick around. I will not make any remarks about Saved by the Bell because honestly, um, that was a long time ago and I had a, I have a really, really bad memory. So, but what I will be doing though is testing out all the products that are part of this collection and giving you guys my honest opinion on every single product. There were some hit and misses, but overall, I did find new favorite products. So if you would like to see what those products are, which ones are my favorites, which ones are not, if you just really wanna know, hey, what's up with this new collection? I wonder what people think. Well, let me give you my two cents on it. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I post one video per week, and I will leave you guys with that. I hope you have fun, and enjoy the look, enjoy the video. Hi guys, so I have already prepped my face, my lids, so we are gonna go straight into the palette. First, I wanna show you what all the shades look like. They are absolutely gorgeous. So the first shade that I will be going with is this one right here, um, and I will be applying that all over my lid, and that is Hot Sunday. This uh, is one of the shades that blends so smoothly, so easily, and, um, it is also pigmented. I do apologize. I'm actually recording this video. Um, it's, or, it's already dark, so hopefully the lighting is not too bad for you guys. I do want to mention about the brushes, you know, that are part of the collection. First of all, maybe I should show you that first. So here are the three brushes that are part of the, the collection. I've already used them, so that's why you see different colors. I've already cleaned them, but it's a little, I didn't, you know, it was like a spot cleaning for this one at least. Um, one thing that I would like to mention about these brushes is that they are very, very soft. So if you can get your hands in this for, on these brushes, Go ahead and get them. You will not regret them. They are very, very soft. The fourth brush that is part of the collection is this Kabuki brush and is, once again, so soft. You know how there are some brushes that as soon as you start, you know, poking your skin, like it hurts? This one's, they you don't even feel it. And the reason why I thought of mentioning that is because I was just a few minutes ago, I was trying to create a look and it was a failed. So I am trying again. And I was just blending and blending and, and it dawned on me. I was like, oh my gosh, these brushes are so soft. So I just wanna make sure that I mention that because I, I actually have not used any of the other um, wet and wild brushes. I don't think so. So now I'm wondering if the other brushes are similar to this ones because if that is the case, I should be buying them. They are, like I said, very, very soft and absolutely recommend them. Um, I will be looking for more brushes, more, more wet and wild brushes, hoping that they are the same quality as this one. The next shade that I will be going with is this one right here, and I'm just using the same brush. That is the shade Hall Pass. I am going to keep this look pretty, pretty simple. So now I will be going in with that shade. I think it's called You, Me, Prom. That's cute. You, Me, Prom. That's a cute name. So I will be going with that shade and just putting that on my lid. Crickets, crickets, crickets. I think I'm gonna have to spray the brush so that it picks up more color because 
I mean, that happens a lot, you know, with eyeshadows where you either have to spray the brush or you have to use your finger so that it picks up the shade because I swatched it not too long ago. There you go, see? The tools, it's about the tools being used. Yeah, now you can see it. So I'm gonna do the same with my finger. But I am going to go back and, because you see, I applied it with my finger, but it's still not really showing up. So I am going to go back with the brush and spray it. So I have already popped some lashes. I think I'm ready for new ones because this one, I think I've used it like three, four times for videos and I just, the shape doesn't look the same. It's kind of weird. So I am going to apply foundation and I am going to use the Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Dewy, um, the Dewy formula. I really like this foundation. I have been using it for quite, I think a few months now and I really like it. It is just like a beaut it has the perfect amount of coverage and at the same time it, it looks great on the skin all day. Now for concealer I will be going with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the one that I've been using for the past few videos. I don't have a concealer from Wet n Wild yet, but I will be trying the Incognito. Hopefully I like it. So far of all the concealers that I've tried, this just has been my favorite. So that's why it's the one that I keep featuring in my channel because it is my favorite. So if you guys have any recommendation, please, you're more than welcome to leave it in the comment section so that I can go ahead and get them and try them out as well. This collection did not have a bronzer, so I will be going in with the Essence, and this is Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and the shade is 02 Sunny. I will be going with the Wet n Wild brush that is part of the Save by the Bell collection, and um, I, I wonder if this is my first time using this bronzer. I don't remember. <gasps> Oh, wow. You know, when I first got this bronzer, I thought that the shade was going to be a little bit too light for me, but, or maybe I just picked up a little bit too much. It wasn't picking it up. The brush wasn't picking it up at first, so that's why I kept on swirling it around. For blush, I will be using the Nerd Alert palette, and this is, I believe this pick you up seven-ish, that's this shade, and then this shade is Sorry Screech. Oof, that's so terrible because I don't know what it's refer what it is referring to. But this is a Glow Face Duo because it says Glow Face. I would assume that this one is a highlight, but I don't think so, actually. It is just a blush. So what I am going to do is I am going to mix both and I am going in with the Kabush Kabuki brush and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbone. It is pigmented, you can see that. Mm, they are oh wow. The shades are beautiful. Especially I mean I'm definitely I mean you guys see that I'm mixing them together. It's beautiful. And I think I may have applied a little bit too much. Gonna apply a little bit on the nose of my bridge of my nose. No, it doesn't. I wonder what is it that I'm smelling. Oh, um, there is another palette that does have a highlight, and this is the relationship goals, and it has a blush. This is the blush and this is the highlight. I 
it fell when I opened it, so I already broke it. And I am going to be using a small brush so that I don't overdo it. I'm known for that, at least with the highlight. Let's see how that goes. Oh, okay. It's a beautiful highlight, very, wow. Oh girl, oh girl, I like it. I did apply a little bit too much um, blush. I'm going nowhere. That is a beautiful blush. I mean highlight. To finish off the eyes, I will be going in with this color right here. I'm just trying to keep it simple. Um, and actually, this is a burgundy shade. So instead, I'm going to be going with that one. So here we go. That is the Go Bayside. Go Bayside. Go, go. Okay. I was thinking of using this royal blue, but I don't know. We are getting close to the end of this video, so now I am going to line my lips and use the lip gloss. This is one of the three kits that came in the collection. Let me real quick show you what the other two kits are so that you can have an idea. So the other two kits that are part of this collection are right here. Um, this is I feel like the colors are fairly similar um, and it's not really what I was trying to use today so that's why I didn't opt for either one of them. This is kind of like a bubblegum pink and then this is, and actually they do look a little shimmery, especially this one. This has like a hint of purple in it, kind of like similar to the eye look. And the one that I will be using today, as I mentioned, is this other one. The color is a little bit more subtle. It's more mixed with a bit of a brown in it. So that's why it's the color that I am choosing. Um, and this is a lip liner. So the lip liner is definitely a beautiful shade. I love the shade. It's not creamy though, so I do have to let you know that it is not the creamy, the creamiest um, lip pencil that I have in my collection. Not even close. So just putting that out there so that you can decide if you want to get it. Now I'm gonna try the lip gloss. I hadn't tried either one before, so this is my first time. This is what the applicator looks like. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is actually a lip plumping. Um, oh God, it tastes, it smells like bubble gum. And it has that minty sensation, oh yeah. the shade beautiful so last two i am going to set my makeup and this is the setting spray that is also part of the save by the bell collection maybe i should stop doing that but um this is just a setting spray it doesn't say whether it's dewy or matte it doesn't say anything about finish um so yeah mm -hmm. Oh, there's one more product that is part of the collection and I actually forgot, but I will be using it because I remember. Hmm. 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 Okay, look at that. So it has a very fine mister. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh, so I like that. I like the fact that it does have a very fine mister. I did have to spray it several times so that I could get enough of it. It is also scented. I 
don't, mm, I don't know what it is, but it smells good. I like it. Kind of want to open it. Oh, mm-hmm. Goodness gracious. I'm not sure what that scent is, but it's just smells so good. And the last product that I will be testing out as part of this collection is the mascara and I have not opened it yet. So this will be my first time trying it out. Let's look at the brush. Okay. Okay. So I just want to show you what the applicator looks like. And I will be applying that on my bottom lashes. Oh goodness, I got a little clump right there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That song would be perfect right now. Oh goodness. okay guys so this is the finished look now we're just gonna do a quick rundown of all the products that i use that are from the save by the bell collection i am going to start with the palette overall the palette is okay i am not going to say like it's one that you must go out of your way and get it no unless you are a palette collector then go by all means you know go ahead and get it but if you already have the you know like i feel like i could have easily created this look with a lot of the palettes that i already have in my collection um this shade you know especially i was really expecting more from it especially when i swatched it on my arm i feel like i got a more color payoff than i am getting now even though I use my finger, I use the brush, and I also spray my brush, and this is the most color that I could get out of it. So the palette is okay. Honestly, th that's just my two cents on it. It's all right. Okay, now we are going to talk about the brushes. These brushes are a must. They are just so soft. I think that is my Probably my favorite part of this collection are the brushes. They are just so soft. If you can get your hands on them, do yourself a favor and go out and get them. Typically, I am not a kabuki brush person, but this worked perfectly for uh, with the blush. So a 10 out of 10 for the brushes. The next products that we are going to talk about are the blushes. So I use this blush. This is the Nerd Alert. Gorgeous. The shade is just gorgeous. They are pigmented. They are beautiful. Once again, I give this as well a 10 out of 10. Next, we are going to talk about this. And I, I, I'm just so sad that I broke it already. But out of this... I only used the highlight, I did not use the blush, but the highlight, I love it. I already told you guys that, look, look at the nose. That is, it just has, it reminds me a little bit of that Essence um, Pure Nude Highlight. It's just beautiful, it's subtle, it's like a natural glow. That is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this highlight, so if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it. It's probably a 10 out of 10 as well. The next product that I want to talk about is the setting spray. The setting spray, I absolutely love it. I already mentioned to you guys, it is scented. It is very, the scent is not strong, so it doesn't bother me at all. What I do like the most though, is that it has a very fine mister out of all the setting sprays that I have. This is the one that has the mo like the finest um, mister. So I really like that about it. Again, these are only first impressions. You know, I have only used this, I've only had this makeup on for a few minutes, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if it helps with my makeup lasting longer. I couldn't tell you that. But just based on first impressions, I really like it. Last product that I would like to talk about is the lip liner and lip pencil. So the lip plumping kit. Of course, this is not the one that I use. I don't know where it's at already, but 
as I mentioned, I feel like the pencil is a little bit too dry for me, but the shade is gorgeous. This shade, of course. Um, the other ones are, okay, actually I am curious. So that is a beautiful shade. It's like a bubblegum shade. But, and the lip, the lip balm, I mean the lip gloss, now that I have it on, you know, since I've had it on for, I don't know, at least 10 minutes now, it doesn't, it's not bothering me at all. It does feel cool in, on my lips. So I guess that is because of the lip plumbing, plumping effect. I don't think that I could give it a 10 out of 10. I think it would probably be more like a six or a seven out of 10. Um, the, like I said, the color is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, but that's just weird. <laughs> that is just weird and it is a little sticky not a lot it doesn't bother me like i've been talking and it just feels normal because i'm not paying attention to that but at the same time too you know like it's not that sticky but it does have a little bit of stickiness to it so do keep that in mind um and the last product that i guess was is part of the collection would be the mascara now because i only used it on my bottom i mean i used it on my top lashes as well but i really can't see you know if it is lifting, you know, like how it's helping my lashes, I can't see whether it's helping them curl, even though based on the applicator, based on how it is, I would think that it does help curl your lashes. However, I will be reviewing this on my TikTok. Um, and I guess I could also talk about the formula. The formula doesn't feel dry. You know how there's sometimes the formula is either too liquidy or too dry. I don't feel that with this uh, mascara. So, but I will be featuring it in another of my videos where I don't use any of la any lashes so that I can give you a better and more a, a fair review on the mascara. Let's just say that. So that was a little bit more than I wanted to say about um, this collaboration of uh, Wet n Wild. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I am currently posting one video per week. I don't have an exact date just yet because sometimes, you know, I'm able to edit the video and upload it on Tuesdays. Sometimes I'm able to do it on Sundays. It varies, so please do forgive me for that. Um, however, I'm still posting one video a week, so the best thing to do would be um, subscribing and also clicking the bell notification so that anytime that I do upload a video, you will be notified of that upload. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed watching it and you had fun. I definitely had fun creating this look. Um, it's very subtle. It's very natural, but at the same time, it's beautiful. So have a great night and I will see or have a great day whenever you watch this video and I will see you next time. Take care.